Count it. Hello YouTube. So I'm out here in the field. I got my disc golf set up. There's I only have five goals. But uh you go out and back, that makes nine holes. But uh it's been raining a lot lately, so it's still it's hard to see on the camera, but it's still muddy out here. Which sucks because it's 70 degrees out, sun's out. You can tell I'm squinting. Uh love to play some disc golf, but it's just the fields are just too muddy. So wait, I got an idea. We'll play VR. All right, this is better. Uh, there's some clouds going on here, but at least the ground's not muddy. Uh, we are in Off the Change Disc Golf, which you saw with the title. Uh, Sands Trap is the name of this course. I actually had a funny little thing. I, I commented in a Discord thread about uh, what you'd like to see, and I said, I'd like to see a little bigger course that's not as mountainous because a lot of the courses in this are very mountainy and all that and then the the uh, developer responded and reminded me about sands trap um so i came out and played the first nine holes yesterday and i'm like yeah this is kind of exactly what i was asking for so i felt like an idiot for asking for it but uh, anyway you can see this first hole is 383 feet par three um you can see the goal uh let's see i have a driver here i probably should have changed that driver because that speeds really fast and i don't throw it that fast so but let's see 383 feet let's see how close i can get i am not a professional at this game and you can tell by that hyzer approach but that is my first throw of the day it only went 220 i can throw my mid rate my fair wage drivers that far my fairway mid-ranges 159 feet to go so i'll throw this guy oh come on come on eyes are back and sit down look at it look at it look at how far that went same distance 230 feet and i went out of bounds that's a great start that is a great start oh i got my new my fancy blue putter i got the other day just the tree is not there ignore the tree there is no tree there well apparently there is no tree if you throw it 30 feet to the left what in the world that fell out of the basket that's junk triple bogey ah good start See, here's little hillies. Um, this says it's 309, but look at the shape of that. I realized this yesterday. I'm in my guardian right here looking at this. It's scary to me. 309 feet. But you see the tee box is going off this way. The hole is actually over there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to push the A button, switch to my forehand, turn over here, make sure I'm not going to hit the fridge or anything. And I'm going to go this way, over the out-of-bounds. <clears throat> Look at that. 310 feet. Get the long shot. Oh, and then I, like an idiot, I didn't look at the distance. I wish there was a way to pull up the distance. Can you... Well, maybe not with a disc in your hand. I thought maybe your watch would show you. You can see it's 9.19 a.m. It feels like I'm throwing into a bit of a headwind because I have a fan blowing on me. Like I said earlier, it's like 71, 72 degrees out. It's really nice out, but just too much mud outside to play. Oh! <laughs> oh. 
Yeah. Now, I don't know how many people that are watching this. I never know which side those are on. So they switch sides on you. 555 feet, 0.5, par 4. It's... Oh, it's straight out there past that tree. So I just need to chuck this a long way, which means I'll probably get 20 feet. Whenever I try too hard, I don't throw it very far. Get up over that hill. That's a short flex shot, it says. 337. I'll take that. I'll take that. I don't know how many people that are watching this are familiar with disc golf. Um, it is a fun sport. If you like golf type games, but you don't have the money to go out and buy a nice set of clubs. Oh, look at this shot. Look at that shot. Uh, you know, and then pay the green fees to go to a golf course, you know, 30 bucks a pop or more. Plus the cart rental. Get in there. Get in there. Man, I am just... My, like real golf, my putting sucks. Um, oh, that's too high, too. God, I feel like Evelina. Uh, we were watching the European Open, the girls playing, and one of the girls, she did that. She went over and back twice on one of the holes. Tragic, because she was winning the tournament at the time. Um, but instead of having to buy expensive clubs and go to the, you can go to the store, you can pick up a Frisbee cheap. And there are disc golf courses all over the place that are completely free. You just drive up there, go out and play. Um, they have starter sets of discs. Uh, we actually bought Kelly a starter set at, um, it was a hardware store. I think it was Ace Hardware in Salida, Colorado. And it was like 15 bucks, and you get three discs. You get a putter, a mid-range, and a driver. Or, if you want to go the other way, you get a driver, a mid-range, and a putter. Um, okay, so I want to hyzer this in. I'm going to try to aim around these trees and hyzer this in. 516 feet. I'm not going to make it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Both short and out of bounds. Gah. See, I am so inconsistent with this game. Look at that. I just, I just went out of bounds right over this. Oh. That's going to hyzer back in. I think. That's a good throw, but crooked. 112 feet. Um, but yeah, so you can get you can get into the hobby really cheap. And like I said, there's free courses almost everywhere. That is a good approach shot right there. Now watch me miss this putt. Um, there is a website, and I cannot remember the name of it. I will put it on the screen right here. I got to remember to find this right when I'm starting hole five. Um, that will show you where golf courses are in your area with reviews and all that stuff. And, you know, look, it's way over there. It's just, it's just really fun. Um, we used to always keep our discs in the car at all times in case we stumbled across a good course. But now that I have put up the course here, um, we gen tend to keep them here. And there's, there's just nowhere to play around here because we're out in the middle of the desert which is, I know, it's, I just got done saying they're everywhere, but when we go to El Paso, when the weather's better, we will bring them again, just in case. <clears throat> oh, is that going to stay? Is that going to stay? I lost sight of it. Look at that bomb. Look at that. 370 feet. I can't throw that far in real life. It went out. It went out. I must have carried long. And it marked me out right here. Ouch. 
it went out right over here and I guess it never flexed back in. That's kind of brutal. Okay. Highs are back. Highs are back. I lost sight of it too far. 372. Well, that one's in bounds. See, I always click too soon. I forget to look at where how far I am. So I throw all these just based on looking at it. That's a serious hyzer shot. It's going to drop right down there. 97 feet. 7.2 feet. I should be able to make this. I'm nervous after that one fell out. Uh, you can see those numbers pop up after I make it. Those are chain links, which is the equivalent to money in this game. 441. It's a little off to the right. I'm going to throw a forehand shot again. Um, and that's how you buy your different discs. Tells you right on the disc what the speeds are and all that stuff. But, uh, let's see. Oh, no! That's going to go out of bounds over there. Stay in. Oh, it stayed in. You can see the out of bounds line there. 188 feet. That's... See, I haven't even thrown this disc yet. See, sp speed is how fast you got to throw it to get it to do this stuff. Glide is how far it glides. Turn is going to the right if you're throwing regular backhand, right-handed, before it goes, and then fade is when it comes back. So you got to throw this one pretty fast. This disc, you don't have to throw it as fast. It's got a farther glide, and the turn and fade kind of cancel each other out. So it goes pretty straight. Now after I did all that talking, I forget how far I was. I think it said 188. My, I throw hyzers a lot. Um, that's pretty normal for me. I got a putt to do here. Now for these putts, I do straddle putts. So I'm bringing this down. My, you can't see it. My hands are on my knees now. If you can see that. Um, and I kind of bring it down between my legs. And toss it out like this. That's weird. Every time I get down here, it changes the contour of the ground. Apparently, apparently the dog liked that movement because the dog came over while I was doing all those practice. Maybe I need to do that more often, practice my lineups. I could do the Paige Pierce flick before. but If you grab the wrong disc, you just drop it and it'll bring your bag back up. No penalty. Uh, see, I look over here. There's no sign. It's over here. 681 feet. It looks like it's dead straight, but I'm going to throw this thing and I'm going to try to get it. I'm looking for the dog. That is going to hyzer out too far. Hit that tree. That's going to be out of bounds. I threw it almost 400 feet though. Watch, it probably put me out of bounds, like right here. Yeah, I still have 582 feet. It's going to put me right here. <clears throat> this one might do the same thing. No, I'm in. There's the out of bounds. 225 feet still. I don't want that one. I, I want this turtle again. The patience. <laughs> ah, dang it. It's still going to hyzer too much. I was trying to put a little Anheuser on it, make it curve to the right. But I threw it the right distance. <sighs> this is a long putt. Hit the pole. Hit the pole. I'm 
So next weekend coming up is the World Championships for the disc golf. We watch it on YouTube. There's a couple of different channels. One, one channel does uh, the men's side and one channel does the women's side. We tend to watch the women's side more often um, than the guys. But uh, those they, they, man, they're good. Oh, no. Come on, Heiser back in. It's going to be out of bounds. No, it did Heiser back in enough. 270 still. Ooh, I threw a 277. No. See, I didn't do my practice swings, and look what happened. I went over. But uh, both men's side and women's side, Paul Macbeth and Paige Pierce, I think they're going for their sixth world championship, which will be records. Um, I know that's true for Paige, and I think that's true for Paul. I like to think that I could get in the top 100 if I played on the girls side uh, but that's not wouldn't happen I'm gonna I'm gonna do something stupid I'm gonna throw a forehand I'm gonna try to go around these trees and curve it around or I'll just go through those trees oh I made it through yeah the trees on this they're not modeled very well. You can go through the edges of the trees. And you really can only hit the trunks, it seems like. 130 feet, so I don't need to go real far. That might be too high. Like, look at that, right through the green thing. So it was aimed perfect if I wouldn't have thrown it so high. Now I got a 35-footer. Oh, no. I am trying recording this on the uh, widescreen mode, which is now available in the Quest. So hopefully I'm not cutting stuff out. All right. That's the front nine. Ten over on the front nine. That's ridiculous. I was looking at the Discord for this game, and they have a little tournament section, and people were posting their tournament scores and all that to, to keep track of it, and... They're like 17 under. It's like, oh man, I won't be playing any of those tournaments. Okay. Let go a little early on that one. So you don't have to throw it super hard. It's not like in real world where you're trying to chuck it really hard to get it to go. It's more of a controlled thing. Push that one too far to the right, but that's okay. I like the distance. See, the power meter is almost up there to perfect with that. Overcorrected for the last one. See, I was only going to do nine holes on this, but Mr. Post Style said he likes longer videos, so I'll go ahead and finish out the 18. So this one's way over there. Oh, see how far to the right I released that compared to where I wanted to? But, I, I mean, it's a big fairway. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, so you can bring that up. I'm going to tap in your watch. Interesting. I did not know you could do that. Huh. 
we're learning stuff together. So yeah, now I'm not paying attention. 269. God, that is helpful. See, I want to release, I want to go right over that little tree. See, sometimes it flies. Graphically, it shows it flying with that nose down attitude. But it doesn't really affect your throw. 60 feet. That's a long way. And I think I'd have had that if it would have been straight. I think I would have had it. Oh, no. Okay. Thought I threw it too high again. So the developer said they are working on another course. It is going to be kind of mountainous, but it's going to be long course like this one. Um, but uh, he said there's some death putts in there, which generally means you're going to be putting <laughs> in the thing is like near a cliff or something to where, or water to where if you go long. I'm going to try, I'm going to throw a forehand. I'm going to try to throw over that tree over there which means I'll probably throw over those trees. But, uh, oh no. I kind of got it the way I wanted, but look at that extra. Yeah, and look, it just stuck. They also said they're going to be working on that. The uh, animation and stuff for when it hits the ground. See, I think that out of bounds line is so close. I think I'm going to throw another forehand so I can try to hyzer it in. Instead of flirting with that out of bounds, I don't have confidence in my shots like the pros do. So I'll throw it way over there, way too much to the right. A little harder than perfect, 42 feet to the basket. The dog is chewing on the chicken. Probably hear that in the background. Drop in there. Oh! <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. 589 foot. Oh, it's way up there on that hill. Looks like a forehand shot to me. I'll try to throw it through these two trees. I'll pretend like that's a mando, which means it's mandatory. You go between certain place, certain trees. I'm liking the shape of that. I'm liking the shape of that. Didn't go quite as far as I would have liked, but that's okay. I'm not out of bounds. See, it's not telling me. So now I'm glad I know this trick. I have 314 still. Put that away. Wrong disc. That doesn't happen often in, in disc golf where you just flat out grab the wrong disc. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw a forearm forearm forehand hyzer throw. <sighs> Shoot. Shoot. Sit down. Sit down. Look at that out of bounds. Oh. <laughs> Sixty-seven feet. This is a long putt. Oh, and I at least I threw it to the left. Par. I'll take pars. I'm doing okay. I got a bogey there, but the back nine so far. I'm par. Every hole. I'm going to do a backhand throw. Oh, no, 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 no. Sit. It sits. That It does sit good. You generally don't have to worry about ground play taking you out of bounds, but...
Look at that thing. Just launched. Just launched. Sit. Oh, <laughs> digs in. <coughs> Dang it. I feel like I got a tickle in my throat. See, this is a little bit of a death putt. If I miss this putt long, it's going all the way down that hill. Hopefully I... Oh, no. Oh, no. Got lucky there. I was just going to say, hopefully I don't show you. Got part. That was a birdie putt. No, no sign. Must be on this side. 502 feet. Curves around pretty steep. Oh, there it is. I can see it. You probably can't see it. It's behind those pine trees or palm trees. So I'm going to probably throw this directly into this tree. Get far enough. Get far enough. It's out of bounds. Roll in. And it's probably going to move me right up here because that's where I crossed in. So much for my par streak. Look at that, pin high. I need this for par. Short. Dang it. So much for my bogey free back nine. <coughs> okay. Four thirty nine. Hmm. Trust the hyzer, go over that palm tree and trust it to pull it back. Because that way is way far around. <sighs> Should have thrown it more left. Anything over 300 feet gets you that long shot. 134, that means I'm going to throw the patience. Get in there, get in there. Looky there, parked. 3.6 feet. I can get another, if I can get a birdie on one of these, I can uh, get back down to a par on the back nine. Well, that's crazy. Stay in, stay in, it went out. And I got 300 feet because I went way out here on this side. <sighs> Jeepers. That's just horrible. Shot five, another bogey. So if I eagle this, <laughs> 642 foot par four, straight over there. Two. 
turn, turn. Uh, 289 feet to go. Dang it. Sit down. Sit. Long shot, but I didn't want a long shot. 75 foot putt uphill. And again, if that would have been straighter, that could have had a chance. And we're back here at the clubhouse. There's those picnic tables. There's no clubhouse. Crowd goes wild. Plus 12. So that's only plus two on the back nine. That's pretty good for me. See, I have 2,860 chain links that I could use to buy discs. Which is in the home area. I'll show you really quickly how that works. You go into loadout. Uh, you can only bring four discs with you. We'll get a little closer here. Um, these are the four I have chosen. I got a stable mid range and an understable. The theory there was understable will tend to curve right more where a stable will curve left over stable really curves left and um, see my driver I'm using that is an over stable driver but I like it because um, I don't like the under stables and you go in here to spend your chain links um, each disc you open Sometimes it will unlock another one. I think I've... No, I did not unlock that one yet. That one's only 800, so let me see. I'll unlock it. Let's see if it opens up another disc that I could potentially buy. Yes, it did. And I saw people in Discord talk about this rainy day. I think they like it. Tree Hugger has a little less speed. That's a mid-range. I have enough money for it. I'm going to buy it. Oh, and that unlocked another disc. Oh, look at the speed on that thing required. Barely any turn. And then a lot of fade. So that's probably would be listed as an overstable. It costs 2700 though. I don't have that much. I, I've, I own that one. I own that one. So it looks like this is maybe the last disc I need to buy. But then once you buy those, I could go into the Build-A-Bag. Now I got that overstable mid-range. Understable. So I could take that one out and put that one in. I'll do that and see if I like it for the next one. But... Uh, yeah, so I'm going to end it right here. I'll give you a look around this little clubhouse area. There's a practice goal over there. Some trash cans. That That's a robot that you can do practice shots with in the tutorial. Nice looking game. Fun game to play. Disc golf in general is a fun game to play. Um, huh. I never looked in here. Um, I highly recommend it. If you have the opportunity to... Oh, look. This is a radio here. If you have an opportunity to pick up some discs, or just use a just use a Frisbee. If you have a, a Frisbee that you bought that you play with and you can throw fairly well, just stop by a disc golf course, a local disc golf course. Again, I'll, I'll put the uh, link here on the screen to that website that will show you where they are. And uh, if you watch this far, make sure you check out the uh, channels I got listed in the description below. Um, Mr. Postiles down there, G. Parker's Gaming, uh, G. Parker's Arcade Room. Sorry, Greg, I do that every time. G. Parker's Arcade Room, 
uh, I was already thinking about uh, Mike's channel, um, Gaming Road Warrior. So gaming came into the sentence. I can't think and talk at the same time. But uh, anyway, check those guys out. Uh, Digital Victory if you want to watch some pinball. And uh, thanks for watching. I will catch you on the next one. Peace!